President Bola Tinubu has approved the establishment of a presidential committee dedicated to the reform of the livestock industry and the provision of long-term solutions to recurring clashes between herders and farmers in the country. The president announced the establishment of the committee in Abuja following the submission of a report from the National Conference on Livestock Reforms and Mitigation of Associated Conflicts in Nigeria, convened by the Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduje. The President explained that the committee is expected to collaborate with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security and propose recommendations aimed at fostering a peaceful coexistence between herders and farmers while ensuring the security and economic well-being of all Nigerians. Here I will find it. And I tell you, we are going to establish the committee here of those presenters. Consider yourself as members of the committee. Coordinating with the Ministry of Agriculture. I will be talking to all the governors. The federal government is ready to apply to acquire land for ranches and livestock development. And imagine you create this opportunity. Your best doctors are busy, gainfully employed. The private sector, the education opportunity for the others and the family of children, the medical care that will be established through that is a life saving opportunity. In his remarks, Ganduje noted that implementation of the proposals of the report will enhance productivity, improve livelihoods, promote environmental conservation, address substantial causes of conflicts between farmers and pastoralists, and help in reducing the cost of importation for animal products like milk and beef. The whole issue of livestock reform is not for one particular ethnic nationality is not for particular religion it's not for particular geopolitical zone but it's for all nigerians because it has two major components first the issue of economy and secondly the issue of security due to changing climatic situation Increase in population, creation because of technology. The farmer now doesn't require the manure from the cow because there is a synthetic fertilizer. While the husband has not, is not in position to get a new version of, graze, of grazing. That is the grasses. He is still using the natural grasses. These are issues that we need to resolve in our new reformed agenda. We need to also consider those who are into cattle business in the traditional format are also human beings. They need to be addressed. But the panacea is we need to migrate, transist from this migratory tendency to you know, ranching, mini ranching, that support system can can address one of the key recommendations in the report is the need to establish a ministry to be charged with the mandate of leading the sustainable reforms and development of the livestock sector hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates